Siku ya leo ningependa kuambia wa Kenya kuhusu tenda ambayo imekuwa ikifanya Kenjen kwa zaidi ya miaka ishirini ambayo imekuwa ikipewa uh, mtu mmoja na imekuwa ikipewa mtu mmoja kwa sababu ya dhuluma watu wengine wamekuwa kidhulumiwa na nafikiri huu umekuwa ni ufisadi wa hali wa juu ambayo imefika wakati sasa hatutanyamaza tena uh, tulifanya tenda mwaka ujana mwaka jana na hadi siku ya leo uh, nikikuja kwa media Juzi tu ndio walinitumia regret letter lakini walikuwa washa awadi. They have awarded the tender and they sent me the regret letter later wrong. Mimi wakati matokeo ya lab ya ile product ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya tender nilienda kuchunguza kwa nini imechelewa. Tulikuwa tumeambiwa itatoka matokeo yatatoka last year by 19th December na hadi February hatukuwa tumepewa na hapo ndio nilipogundua kwamba tenda ilikuwa tayari ishapewa mtu mmoja mtu mmoja yule ambaye amekuwa akipewa kawaida kwa miaka yote zaidi ya miaka 20 <coughs> na wakati tulikuwa tunafanya tenda tulikuwa kwanza tushakubaliana kama wauskadau wote kwamba tutapeleka samples zetu zote kwa CAPS na ile certificate ya CAPS itakuwa moja ya tenda documents lakini kabla tujepeleka tender documents walibadilisha hayo maneno. Lakini mimi nilipeleka caps na nika test product yangu na nika submit pamoja na tender. Iko hapa kama hii watu wa wanahabari nitawapea copy. Ile copy nilipeleka caps of the product ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya tendering. Kisha kulikuwa pia na condition nyingine maana hapo awali tulikuwa tunajua yale mambo yamekuwa yakiendelea tulikuwa tumeambiwa kampuni zote ambazo zitapita katika stage 1 ya financials tutakubaliwa ku attend lab ili wakati product zetu zinafanywa analysis tutahudhuria hiyo condition pia ili iliomitiwa na iko it is clearly stated in the tender document na hayo maneno tulimwambia msimamizi mkuu wa Kenjen na akatuahidi kwanza mimi personally hata kuna barua nilimwandikia na akaniahidi atafanya uchunguzi na atasimamisha ile tenda. Lakini hii wakati wa corona ilipoanza ile tenda ilipeano kisiri kichini chini. Na tumekuwa tukijaribu ni tumeandikia PPRA eh, barua to complain about the same, tumeandikia DCIA, tumeandikia anti corruption, lakini so far hakuna report yoyote tumepata. That is why sasa tume involve watu wanahabari wana pia na nyinyi mchunguze because kama vile mnajua wakati huu tumesema hakuna mambo ya corruption tunataka tupigane na corruption from all angles ni jambo la kusikitika kwamba huyu mtu mmoja ambaye amekuwa kisupply amekuwa kisupply miaka yote tangu Kenya nianze zaidi ya miaka ishirini. kana, kana kwamba hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza kutengeneza ile product na tumetengeneza tumetest kwa la, ma, ma labs zingine na tumefaulu na hata copy iko hapa mtaona nyinyi wenyewe kama watu wa wanahabari na tukijaribu kwenda kuchunguza tunapeleko hivi 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 on the financial stage the first stage was financials he was disqualified uh, that he remitted only one year audited account but his claim was also valid because the company was newly registered it has just worked for one year so it was only supposed to to take one year audited account and uh, the public procurement review uh, board uh, with uh, drew away uh, or his uh, whatever appeal so it was not granted but mine is on technical ground that one was on financial ground mine is on technical ground.